You mentioned that you're taking Femara, which is an ovulation stimulating medication for women who don't ovulate, and it can give you a chance at conceiving because without ovulation, you can't have a baby. So you wanna know what signs there are that you're actually ovulating. And um, there are some things you can look for, but they're not absolutes, um, like cervical mucus changes. A lot of women around the time of ovulation will notice that um, vaginal discharge changes from being like more creamy in consistency to being more slippery and clearer, kind of like egg whites. And if you're seeing this, especially if it's mid-cycle, then um, you might be ovulating and it's time to have intercourse if you're trying to have a baby. There are some other things that you can do. You can monitor your basal body temperature. That's your temperature each morning before you get out of bed to even go to the bathroom, before you've even had a sip of water, check your temperature and record it. And your, your, your basal body temperature will actually go up slightly after you've ovulated. So that doesn't help you in the current month, but if you do it for several months, then you can look back in retrospect and kind of know on what day of your cycle your body usually ovulates. Your temperature will actually persistently stay high until your next period begins. Um, another thing you can do is use ovulation prediction kits. The, most, the manufacturers of most tests recommend that you start taking them on day nine of your cycle. And what it's looking for is a surge in LH, or luteinizing hormone, which is associated with ovulation. And this surge is usually seen 12 to 36 hours before your body ovulates. And so basically, if you see a positive, then it's time to have intercourse again so that you give yourself a shot at getting pregnant. And then once you stop seeing positives, your body has already ovulated and your chance to conceive during that cycle is gone until the next one. But I hope everything goes well for you during this cycle and that you're able to conceive. And um, if it doesn't work or you have more specific questions about your situation, be sure to talk with your doctor who prescribed the medication in the first place because they know the most about your situation. And if you have more questions for me, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.